has to find the derivative with respect to x integral from 1 to x of the sine of t dt. Okay, so what does the shortcut tell us to do? That's just going to be what? Sine of x. Okay, so we're doing that derivative of the antiderivative, so it should just be, the, our shortcut tells us it should just be what? Sine of x. Let's work backwards. Okay, so this tells us the antiderivative of the sine is what? Cosine. Or yeah, negative, minus negative cosine. Negative cosine, right? So we have the negative cosine of t evaluated from 1 to x. So that would be what? The negative <coughs> cosine of x minus the negative cosine of 1. And so this just ends up being the negative cosine of x. Wouldn't that just be like plus the cosine of 1? Okay, now, the cosine of 1, isn't that just going to be a, a constant? Isn't that just a number? Cosine of 1 is just some value. So now if I was to take the derivative of this, Okay, so the derivative of the negative cosine is going to be what? The negative, the derivative of the cosine is what? Negative sine of x. And so minus some minus is going to create our sine of x, isn't it? Okay, but isn't that just kind of nice knowing the, that second fundamental theorem? So basically we can take that limit, plug it in, and be done with it. Why did you get minus times a minus? Okay, because this was the derivative of the cosine is the negative sign. Okay, so, but we're taking the derivative of the negative cosine. So, so if we treat that as like a negative one, treat that as like a negative one. So that negative one times a negative makes it a positive. Yeah, it's really easy to lose a negative negative number. Okay, then that last one. Okay, so it's asking us to find the uh, derivative of the antiderivative of x cubed of the cosine of t. Okay, so let's kind of go back and see if we can look at the... So we're kind of applying this rule right here. Okay, so first of all, what are we going to do with that piece? Plug it in. Okay, so that would be the cosine of x cubed. However, are we done? Okay, no, because we, we did this, but now we have to take the derivative, so times 3x squared. So if we look at it as 3x squared times the cosine of x cubed. Okay, any questions? You need back on there. Go back to to the problems. Yeah. There. So a number of three there. Can we do one where it's not zero? Like f of three equals five, for example. Um, no, we're not going to do that yet. <laughs> yeah. No, for yeah, that's that's on purpose. Why? Uh, yeah. Because because we can't because we couldn't actually integrate that. We don't have. We're, we're not there to integrate that yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're just starting integration. And so right now we're, we're very, very basic on what we can do. And we'll get a little bit deeper into it before. And then Calc 2 will take, kind of take off where this one leaves off. And you'll get further into integration in Calc 2. Yeah. Anybody have any, any other questions? Okay, on uh, Thursday we'll just kind of continue on. Um, Talk about the net change and then the substitution method, which will be huge, okay, when we talk about that. You mean when you substitute somebody?